So this is uh, the last day of Labs of Democracy 2022. Yeah, I know. Um, and uh, this year we focused on climate and energy issues. Uh, we had three days of very intensive um, meetings, discussions um, with other state legislators. Um, and after those three days, um, is there something you take um, home? Yeah, of course. Of course, first of all, we had to state that there are, especially when it comes to, I don't know, the level of expansion of new renewable energies, we have, guess, I guess, uh, quite different levels if you compare Germany and the United States. But uh, um, the concerns of the people at both sides of the Atlantic are quite the same. And when it comes to uh, develop some mechanisms to gain more um, acceptance for, um, um, yeah, expand renewable energies and so on, I guess we can learn something from each other and we are still keep on developing these um, ideas together. Climate and energy policy plays an important role in your own legislative agenda and also in your home state. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, of course. Um, I had to, to say that um, we had a state election last year and it was the dominant, um, dominant topic already. But uh, within the last month, of course, it's becoming more and more relevant. And now it's the absol absolute um, topic number one. And yeah, so um, we will have to encourage more expand of the renewables to make it faster um, and to expand the, the level of how much we build. And yeah, we had to um, accelerate um, soon. <laughs> we are looking at this beautiful skyline. <laughs> This is New York. We are in New Jersey. Um, <laughs> we learned quite a bit about New Jersey as well. Um, is there anything with regard to climate and energy policy which you found interesting? I guess that's not a question if I find one thing interesting. I guess there are that many things to do. And sometimes it's quite hard to find out which one is uh, the the place where you start yeah, and where you end. But um, right now, we are not just standing uh, in front of this amazing skyline. There's also in the back of the cameraman, the, the institute, I guess, uh, the key is technology. Yeah? And of course, the, uh, to develop the right technology and to find out what is the, which is the matching technology. These are tasks for the scientists and also for the market, I guess, but um, or um, task uh, as politicians is uh, to yeah to gain acceptance and to even the way for the right technology for uh, yeah more climate friendly more environmental and with that together a better future. And uh, you're saying together that's a good word um, <laughs> because we are um, in a transatlantic project. Um, why do you, why um, did you participate, and why do you think that the uh, U.S. German relationship is important? Um, first of all, I'm really convinced that um, in some meanings, and especially in, in matters of um, climate change, it's a global problem. But I guess in a lot of political issues, we um, had to generate some international solutions, and I'm really into international policy. Uh, and of course, it's much easier to work um, together with some nations that you share common values. And of course, we have a strong, um, after, after some hard times, yeah, we, we had to say that clearly, but we have a strong relationship between uh, Germany and US and there's a bright future in this relationship. And we had to strengthen it also on a personal level with projects like these. Thank you very much.